TJ, boo. So I have here with me Crazy88, none other than himself, Mr. Tex. Yo, Ace. what? Yo, what's up, stream? What's up, what's up Rico? What's up, big man? Yo, no, you're, you're almost as gorgeous as me, almost, man. Almost? Almost. almost, almost. I think you got it, almost. You just you just need some a bit more muscle, man. Yeah. Okay. So then you could be the Rico of Texas, but if I move down here, it's game over for you guys. <laughs> Should have seen me in my military days. Yeah? Yeah. What were you, you was rapping, like HDH in those days? Uh, and I know you guys doing the military. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm messing with you, man. So what do you think of Texas so far? I like It's pretty good. The weather's kind of bipolar, though, because yeah. like, I don't know how to dress accordingly. Like, right now, I feel like I'm burning when I go outside. Yeah. But then the other day, I wear a shirt, and then it's like it's kind of cool. I'm like, okay, I don't know like how to dress this yeah. over here. But yeah, but we have uh, Robo Snowcone versus CD Junior. So Robo obviously is from very known on the online community because yep. he plays a lot on the stream with a lot of the familiar faces such as you know Grimm's got a magic and whatnot. Ooh. And Junior over here giving me the stare down, but uh, right now he gotta look at that 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 cold ice man in front of him. Otherwise he might got he might get that lance somewhere where it shouldn't be. <laughs> now, at least if we rubble the pink glaciers. Yeah. I think he's doing it for Jamar. Jamar wanted to think Glacius. Uh, what, what do you think about this matchup since you're uh, in a, a Glacius main? Man, honestly, you gotta. The way I play this matchup, I kind of play it like if it's a deer, you always gotta hold hell and just keep her out. Don't let her come in because once she gets in, it's over. And then she's got those daggers. Mm -hmm. You gotta liquidize those. So yeah, right, she'll exactly. Miss. Yeah. I think no. this matchup is a little bit harder than Sidera because. If they have good reaction, they react to your hail with a dagger. It like yep. it just it hits you and destroys the hail. It's like oh wow. Yeah. And then anti-airing her, I definitely feel like back heavy is the better option to anti yep. her because you're down fears, you're too short, and then like the way she like lunges like across the screen, it goes right over your down fear. So back heavy is like your best option. Yeah. One thing I also noticed too is whenever Glacius is an instinct, whenever Maya throws a dagger and it hits him. Counts as a pit towards it, and it destroys your armor. Oh really? Oh, yeah. I don't agree with that. That's yep. That's 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 no boy, no man. Yeah, I feel like Glacier is a good character, but I feel like he, I feel like he needs like a little slight tune up, to be honest. Just a little bit. Just a little, because otherwise, any anything else will make him too good, to be honest. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I don't want him to be like super, like really, really super strong. Yeah. Um, where like anybody which just wants to pick up and play him, but I definitely feel like he does whack stuff on his uh, bad matchups because like the hell bounce like it, like it was said earlier the hell bounce is a good buff on his good matchups but yep. which is only like one or two of them but then all the other matchup is like pretty much not that uh, doesn't really do anything for no. him like this matchup is hard for him to actually gain like any real momentum yes, somewhere. I mean uh, to be honest I haven't really played this matchup with, uh, against Junior uh, I played against other Mayas I do fairly well against them um, but obviously I'd rather play somebody that's Obviously, like literally the best with their characters to see yeah. how, how it really goes down. Nice medium manual sweep, hard knockdown to the vortex. Nice. Oh man, heavy man is gonna not hurt, but he's gonna get some setup. Yeah, I've noticed he's been doing a lot of the sweep now to get yeah, that hard knockdown. Yeah, because he gets the uh, jump heavy, yeah. which is so ambiguous. It's almost as like thunder is jump heavy. Uh -huh. in a way. So he does that off the sweep or off uh, forward throw. Off the forward throw is really tricky. Yeah. That one is literally you have to somewhat guess. You got to look at his facing really, really hard. Oh, nice. Keeping that with pressure. his corner on oh, that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that should be like... I feel like that should be breakable, to be honest. I daggers? Think, yeah, the daggers in the air especially. That I think it should be breakable. Yes. She gets to cover ground space easily, gets and, up to you, puts you in the she corner. Gets a, she gets to walk in as she's throwing your daggers, she's closing in the space on you. And with the Glaciers matchup, you need as much space as you can. Right, right. Because up close, he's not that good. Nice uh, charge for throw reset. Don't give her that move. <laughs> <laughs> that instinct. Let's see what Robo got up his sleeve, man. Mm -mm. No, he jumped already. No, oh, he's done. He's in a corner. It's going to be really hard. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. This is going to hurt. 
Mm -hmm. Lance? No? Oh. I would have done it. I don't care. <laughs> I would have <done> it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would have at least gone for a health setup. Yeah. I don't hold up. See, right now, see, man. man one one off. dagger. That's all it took is one dagger to get in. See that setup right there? Oh, nice. Yeah. Breaks the light. And of course, what else would Maya do, right? Yeah. You could be like down roundhouse distance. Oh, I'm still gonna be PA. Yeah. 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 But Junior takes that, obviously. <laughs> you know, have you, have you seen his little. Pearl yeah, of course, today? dude. Yeah, man. Of course. Nice. So I think it's my pulls up next now. Who's in your pool? I don't know. I couldn't really listen. I always get stuck with my kryptonite. My God. You? Oh, he's in your pool? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I see you guys doing practice over there. Ooh. Yeah, we played a good this two guy. hours. What happened? We played a good two hours. Yeah, that's good, casual. man. I know. My guy's like... Practice some days and no Rico might play glaciers on me, man. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all good. Nah, but we play almost every night when we get a chance, so I know his habits, he knows my bad habits. So. That's not bad. You definitely do, you definitely do, um, let him get away with a lot of free damage, though, that's why you. Yeah. Well, that little few matches that I saw, like, uh, obviously, whenever you have meter, always go for the shadow shadow. Whenever he leaves off the ground, your spacing is not bad, it's, it's really strong. It could, it could do a little bit better. But um, the only thing I have trouble is with whenever I have a hell, when I do a hell, is he gonna jump or do I shatter? Uh, wait, wait, what do you mean? Whenever I say I get him on a hard knockdown, mm -hmm. say I do a shadow shatter when I catch him in the air, I'll do a hell, but I want to ice lance him and keep him in that block stun and then get him to jump because he knows I'm gonna do a shatter, so I want him to jump and then I gotta do the crouching fierce. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll catch him with the hell as it goes. But. You're talking about like if you, if you hit him with a shadow yeah. shatter, right? And he, as he's falling, you summon hail. Yeah. And then whether or not to do another shatter? No, well, once he wakes up, he knows I'm going to try to get with the ice lance and the shatter, so he's going to jump. So yeah, I mean, if you have safe distance, obviously go for the shatter yeah. and stuff. But the, like at that at that point, when you are have Glacius down like that, I mean, like Glacius, sorry, uh, Wolf, your whole goal is to keep, keep trying to build more meter. Yeah. The more meter you keep building uh, at a constant flow, the better for you, because then you keep getting more free damage, because... There's no way that like, nobody's gonna jump at mid yeah. to full screen at all against Glacius. Everybody always jumps and stuff. It, it, it's all the matter of how smart they jump when, when they don't make it obvious. Um, but other than that, if you're constantly building meter, then you, you got a good flow of damage because you're, you're not you're guaranteed to get damage. Yeah. It's just once he gets in, that's when you gotta have your defense up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a that's, given. That's the hardest that's, part. That's a given. Work, that's. Really well. Yeah. I mean that's the just downfall of glaciers in general. Yeah. In general. But uh, no, no, no. Not afraid of that. I have a lot of good wolf experience. Because the whole point is like when you play matchups, the whole point is you, you want to keep playing different mindsets of people that main the character. Yeah. So this way you, you start to cover Sorry. whatever the other car uh, the other person lack in those uh in those areas with these characters. So like for instance, like let's say if I was to play three, well, let's say if I play Paul B, and let's say, for example, Justin Wong, and, like, uh, who else is, like, uh, a notable wolf player? Uh, like, like, my god. So let's say I play... Oh, oh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm on that. So, yeah, if I, before you go, so I was saying, like, if you play, like, all these three of them, each of them do have a strong point in yeah. something, but you playing all three of them, it makes you a stronger player because yeah. you're learning from all of their three yeah. strong points. So then you become a whole, so then it's what a three set is more better for you. I'm on stream coming up. Okay. Well, I'm after this one on no, stream. No, no problem. So like I was telling you, so yeah, so then you playing these three character specialists, and the way they play their different character, it makes you better as a whole. Yeah. So that when you play a two out of three, you're more solid for whatever they they will try to do for you because you're already more experienced in either than them in that mindset already. Yeah. So they they have to do the same thing as a, as a wolf player. They will have to constantly keep playing different glaciers yep. to try to build that experience, whatever. Because it doesn't matter if he plays you or somebody plays you all day. But if if I if if let's say if I if I main glaciers or my glaciers is really that good, there's obviously something that I'm doing different that you're not. Yeah. That I, that helps me get the W, whatever. So if they're not familiar with that, it doesn't matter if he plays you all day, yeah. a whole day. If, if you're not.
covering those areas that I could be strong in and you're lacking, yeah. it, it can still somewhat haunt him a bit and whatnot. But it still helps him in the tournament, though. Yeah, it does. Oh, man. Who do we have? We have Squall versus who? So my guys up here. Oh, is my, my guys playing? Yeah, my guys Against playing. Squall? Yep. Oh, man. Squall's going to get... <laughs> Okay. Liquid, liquidize the daggers.